five, 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 five. Okay, that's really annoying. Five side jobs to make extra money. Rowan here from loveworkathome.com. Let's get straight into it. The first one, let's get me out of the way, is micro jobs. So this company, Microworkers, it's a global website and you basically do simple little jobs like um, liking a social media profile or downloading an app or doing a capture testing, those sorts of little tasks that take no time at all. And they pay in US dollars, which is fantastic for most people around the world. Um, also to get a payout, you just need to earn $9 and then you can submit your request for a re withdrawal request. Uh, and the I'll d jump into my account here so you can actually see what it looks like once you uh, put in your details and and sign in. So this goes straight into the jobs page where these jobs listed here are what are called basic campaigns. So an employer who wants micro workers like yourself to come in here, they can post a basic campaign, which is basically where any micro worker can jump in and choose to do the job. Now an employer can also post a, I think it's called a group campaign or a, um, a group, a higher group campaign, that's it where they actually get to select the micro workers that they want. So it's important as a micro worker, you know, you can give it a go, you can dabble to begin with and just try some of these jobs. But if you're going to take it a bit more seriously, then it's worthwhile trying to build up your success rate and your reputation because then employers will look at you and pick you out and you might be able to get some a bit more stable jobs and maybe a bit more pay. Who knows? It's worth giving it a go. So um, the jobs button, as I was saying, once you come into here, I'll move myself out of the way. Once you come in here, what you're going to see is some important metrics. Number one is payment. As you can see, this is what you get paid per job. So these the, um, fees get, uh, you know, obviously a bit low for a lot of them. 50 cents is not too bad, but, um, you know, 10 cents, 12 cents, you're going to want to be able to knock that job off pretty quickly. I'm actually going to show you a hack for that in just a second. Now, success rate, this is really important. This is a metric that shows how many people are starting the job and then actually finishing it and getting right the way through based on what the um, the employer has, has said you need to do. Um, this time to finish is also another really important metric. Obviously, if uh, the bigger the time to finish, then the longer it's going to take you. So the less of these jobs you can knock off in your allocated time slot. So it's in the interest of the employer to put the right time to finish. Because if they put, oh, it'll take two minutes for you to finish this job, it ends up taking some people 10 minutes, then a lot of people are going to get to the six minute, seven minute, eight minute mark and just bail on it, which is going to decrease their success percentage. Now, when you start seeing that success percentage rate go down, that's, you know, red signals. Uh, okay, this is, um, this is maybe not a project that I should go for. So, let me give you a little hint. The hit this most paying button when you come into here. I'll just um, go straight over to that because my details are at the top. So I've scrolled down a little bit. So you hit that most paying and what you want to do is you want to balance. Okay. So yeah, you, once you hit most paying, as you can see, the numbers at the top here are much better. There are jobs over a dollar, 80 cents, 70 cents, 60 cents. So um, the you want to you want a combination of the high paying jobs but you also want to see an okay a, a good success percentage to know that people are fin um you know taking this job on and actually finishing it and you want to see a low time to finish so when you can get the right balance between those three metrics then you know you're on to a good thing let's get on to number 2 which is mystery shopping so the company that I am highlighting here, although there are various uh, mystery shopping companies, is Call Center QA. Now, these guys claim that um, to have one of the um, highest rates of um, the. Pa Sorry, let me start that again. They claim that they have one of the highest payout per call rates in the industry. Uh, they say that if you hit the employment button, then they've got a bunch of in interesting information over here. So there it is. Our payout per call is one of the highest in the industry and we pay fast. Awesome. That's what you want to see. Now, you know, if all, your, all the stars align, there's no reason that you couldn't earn 25 bucks an hour for this. And the reason I say that is because they say five to 10 minutes um, per call and then feedback is a couple of minutes. So let's say 12 minutes. That means you could fit five of these into an hour at $5 um, per mystery shop. 
five by five, 25, you could earn 25 bucks an hour. Again, that's if the stars are aligning and you can get one call after the other, but hey, this is still a great option to make a bit of side income. Uh, what's also great, which you may have noticed, is no previous experience is needed. You do not um, require a background check. So, you know, this is for anyone. Jump in and give it a go. If you don't like it, stop doing it. Easy. Uh, it's brilliant because you can work from home. You can do it on your schedule and you get paid in seven days or less, which is cool. Now, what they want from people is good listening skills, good communication skills, good attention to detail, good writing skills. That's the kind of stuff they're looking for. You need to be 18 or older. You need to work and reside, reside and work in the US. But they also allude here, see this, they, we will also consider applicants with different backgrounds who have the right set of skills um, to work with us. I'm not sure if that means you can be outside the US if you've got the skills to pay the bills. Anyway, there's no harm in um, inquiring with them anyway. So let's move on to number three, which is video game testing. Now, this platform, GameTester.co, is a game testing platform where it basically brings together developers. I'll get myself out of the way here. Again, um, brings to, um, gamers and developers together to try to get the glitches out of games and, you know, progress the, the whole industry. So as a game tester, basically what you do is you sign up. In fact, I'll take you straight to their, um, this whole thing. Why join with us? You create an account, you play the game, you answer five questions and you get rewarded. It sounds pretty simple. Um, now, I don't know how this one kind of snuck into my list of extra income because I'll be 100% honest with you. Down here it says earn monetary rewards for testing games. So it's not necessarily greenbacks, but when you earn these monetary rewards, and by the way, if you're a gamer, why not play some of their games, which are going to be new to you and new, exciting variety, all that sort of stuff. You get to earn your monetary rewards while you're doing it, which you can then spend on top, um, top brand hardware and um, you can spend it on other games. They'll give you vouchers. They'll give you uh, prepaid cards. They have also give you early access to new games and global events that um, are run. You can win prizes. Anyway, there's heaps of benefits to playing games through a game, t like Game Tester or another company like this one because, um, yeah, of all these benefits and you, it's doing something that you would all um, be doing anyway. So let's move on to number, I think we're up to number four now, which is focus groups. So this company, and I'll um, show you a couple of other companies as well, fieldwork.com. Uh, okay, what is a focus group? Let me take it back a second before I dive into um, this company in particular. So a focus group is basically a round table discussion. Don't get caught up on the word round table. I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but it's a, a round table discussion where basically there will be a moderator, the, it'll be a one to two hour discussion, and you'll talk about products and services that you're already using. So this moderator will uh, basically be prompting questions and trying to steer the conversation in a certain direction so that they can extract insights and information from you as the um, focus group participant, which will in turn help brand and move brands in a certain direction. You know, with um, things like focus groups, brands get all these insights from the people that are using their products or services. And they go, oh, yeah, you know what, we've been developing that product and we should have actually, uh, we weren't listening to the people and these people are saying that this is what they want from the product. So then they start, you know, uh, adjusting their product or their marketing or their branding or whatever it might be. So you actually play a part in uh, directing where um, brands and, and companies take their their future, which is really cool. Um, and also you get uh, compensated for it, obviously. You get paid for it. So to get together and have a chat um, and then be compensated for it, I don't know, it's money for jam in my eyes. Uh, now, I said roundtable discussion. That sounds very physical. You can actually go into their physical locations, but they do offer in-home interviews or um, shop-along interviews or phone, uh, sorry, shop along interviews or online research. There's, there's a couple of different options. I think I, they had something down here. Uh, yeah, virtual market research. So if you click on that button, they've got a cool photo in here which shows you what it actually looks like. Yeah, see, this is obviously an online focus group where they get um, obviously a, an eclectic group of people together to voice their opinions. And um, if you think you're the, not the right person for this, then you 
probably definitely are the right person for this because they're after people from diverse backgrounds and with interesting opinions. So um, they will ask you, or maybe it's in the sign up, they'll ask you a bunch of questions so that they can actually get you into the right focus group so that you're not some, you know, 26 year old in a focus group about dentures or nursing homes or anything like that. So they'll um, make sure they get you into the right sort of group, probably um, a group of similar sort of people-ish, I suppose. Now, this is um, one of the companies that I was talking about, fieldwork.com. Another one is focusgroup.com. Uh, another one is socialisay.com. I'll have all these in the blog. Uh, so if you go to loveworkathome.com, um, head to the blog. This will be in there with these uh, links to these companies. Now, just for the visually impaired, I noticed this um, social I say is spelled a bit funny. It might be a bit hard to type out. So it's social, S-O-C-I-A-L dot I hyphen S-A-Y dot com. Social dot I hyphen say dot com. Hope you got that. So fifth and final one is test scoring. So this company, ETS, the Educational um, Testing Service, is a well-known testing um, company. Now, don't go typing in ETS into Google um, because it's it's kind of hard. In fact, you can see the link up the top there, ets.org, scoring opportunities online, blah, blah, blah. So you'll, you'll find this page or maybe go ETS online scoring if you want to Google it. Basically, these guys hire people to plan and um, develop and score tests. These guys, um, ETS, um, say that they score over 50 million tests per year. That is a whole bunch of tests. So what you will do as the test scorer, uh, once you get into the folds of this company, is you'll evaluate written uh, short answer tests or essays or spoken response tests. And in return, of course, when you're in the folds of this company um, and you're, I'm not sure if they classify you as an employee or a freelancer or whatever, but you get total cash compensation. So it's a base salary plus variable pay. They also um, offer rewards to individuals or to, to groups. Uh, they give um, offer benefits to meet your needs. So I find this company to be quite progressive. And I say that because they talk about at various um, points on their website, encouraging the whole work-life balance and community contribution. It sounds like they don't just talk about it, but they actually offer things like access to health and wellness programs, access to volunteering opportunities, uh, flex time arrangements, that sort of thing. So they say it's um, part-time, a part-time position. However, they do offer eight-hour shifts. So you know, if you can manage an eight-hour shift, this could be a great opportunity for you to boom, earn some extra side income. As a rater, you'd be scheduled on based on program needs, you know, seasonality, obviously towards the end of um, terms and semesters, they have a lot more tests going on, so they need a lot more test scorers and obviously your availability. For them, you need to reside and work in, um, in the US and Hawaii and Alaska and Puerto Rico. Have I already said that? I'm not sure. So you need to pass their in-house certification, uh, which is basically just, They'll ask you a bunch of questions about the scoring process. So once you learn about that, uh, shouldn't be too hard, he says without knowing. Uh, and apparently they need a certain level of tech set up. So just check with them once you get going uh, what they actually need in terms of that. So what are the five again? Let me rewind. Uh, micro jobs, number one. Number two, mystery shopping. Number three, video game testing. Number four, focus groups. Number five, test scoring. Hope you got something out of that. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share it with whoever. See you in the next video. Awesome. Bye.